spin that wheel Woo! everybody clap everybody happy happy it's time for yet another deck tech by me your favorite deck tech boy uh but before we get into it please make sure to like and subscribe it means a whole lot to me but we're not here for that we're here to talk about arjun the shifting flame today this little crafty boy is a six mana five five with flying. Whenever you cast a spell, put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library in any order and draw that many cards. So what are we doing today? We're spinning that wheel. So we're gonna be casting a lot of spells. We're gonna be cycling away just a bunch of cards and we're gonna be capitalizing on it with things like Jace's Erasure, which makes people mill cards. I mean, Mind Moil is basically just like a backup plan because it's the exact same thing as Arjun and literally does the exact same thing but it's an enchantment so Fury's Tutelage does the exact same thing Sphinx's Tutelage same thing Psychic Corrosion same thing our opponents but why don't we create big bodies while we do it because we're gonna be casting all the spells all the spells drawing all the cards so you could just create a bunch of 8-8s out of nowhere every single time you draw a card you could just you, you can make the big 8-8 boys the big boys and they're big lads. But missions? Huh? Huh? Our favorite. Because why not? You can just cast things for free, cast more spells, draw more cards, win the game. But we care more about the creatures in this because they're going to help us get to that point. This deck is obviously really late game, so you're probably going to want to be sitting back and just being like, guys, please don't don't kill me. I'm just a, I'm just a little lad. So like Alondra, Sky Dreamer, I mean, whenever you draw your second card each turn, you create a 2-2. That's pretty good. But when you draw your fifth card each turn, it just gets a lot. It gets really big. So you're just getting big hand and big, big boys and swing out. And you're going to be doing this quite a few times. I mean, if you can get multiple triggers off of this, you just absolutely destroy your opponents because you don't have to mill them for once, which I think is pretty neat. Brawl, Chief, Chief of Compliance, it's just uh, basically mana cheats. Uh, Burgie gets you more, so you can cast a lot more of your spells. Body of Knowledge is also just a big body, so you can block everybody. While also, whenever it's dealt damage, you draw that many cards, so that's pretty neat. You also have no maximum hand size, because it's actually kind of important in this, because you want a really big hand for something like Body of Knowledge. Dockside Extortionist, because we have a shenanigans. Uh, do we? We do not. But it's just a real easy way to just suddenly get a lot more colored mana because that's the problem with a lot of storm decks is they kind of struggle with colored mana. So having access to a lot more colored mana in the form of uh, treasures is really, really good. Exalted Flamer of, of Zinch just allows you to just deal damage to your opponents. Also get more instant sorceries back so you can just keep the train going. Goblin Electromancer, obviously mana cheating because mana cheating is good. Gutter Snipe. It's a sorcery deal damage. Heck yeah. Harmonic Prodigy also doubles the triggers of a lot of your stealers uh, for things like Gutter Snipe. But also, it doubles Argent's ability, which I think is pretty neat. Because if you think about it, you uh, you get the Argent trigger, and then you stack another one on top of it, and you bada bing, bada boom, you get two triggers for the price of two mana. That's pretty neat, if I say so myself. Laboratory Maniac is just a, you have no cards in your deck, you'll win the game because you're probably going to be drawing a lot of cards. And what if you happen to draw more cards than your deck has? You probably lose unless you have Laboratory Maniac or Jace Wielder of Mysteries because that's a contingency plan. Uh, Lyra Disciple of the Drowned also allows you to have your spells be uncountered so you just can go and go and go and win the game. Uh, but also as instant sorceries, flashback good really good it's just like past and flames which we also have in this because we just want to be comboing off just dead absolutely dead <laughs> the visit parent uh allows you to draw card deal damage to your opponents player cast an instant sorcery spell you draw a card meaning you're probably gonna deck yourself eventually with how many spells you're gonna be casting you're just being it's storm time boys it's storm time Ogre Puck Petit, however you say this name, uh, instant would cast an instant from your hand. It gains rebound. I mean, we got some, we got some instants. We, we got twelve in there. They're pretty good, pretty good ones. Psychosis Crawler, great card. Five mana, deal damage every time you draw a card. Ooh, peak, peak stuff right there. Storm Kill, Kill an Artist also creates a treasure whenever you cast instant sorcery. 
which is pretty good. It's like Burgie, but allows you to also cast blue spells as well with it. Tolerant Sky Summoner also just gives you more butts, because but butts good, butts really good. Uh, Thassa's Oracle also is just a conting contingency plan, because contingency plans are good. Whirlpool Rider or Whirlpool Warrior are basically just like you shuffle your deck away, or we shuffle your hand away and draw that many cards. You're gonna wanna be doing that anyway. So why not be able to cast one of these, shuffle it all away, well, put put them all on the bottom of your library, draw that many cards, and then if you have an instant, you can play it on top of that, and then shuffle them all away, draw more cards. Good. Have fun. Good deck. Um, Aetherflux Reservoir is really good for Storm, just because you can nuke people, cast a spell, gain one life for each spell you cast this turn. Probably going to be casting all the spells. So why not just nuke your opponents for infinite damage? Infinite damage? That sounds fun. Obviously stuff like Arcane Signet, Chrome Mox, Jeweled Lotus, uh, Soul Rings, uh, Talisman of Creativity, just for little mana rocks, because we need all the mana we can get. Things like Tormod's Crypt, Spellbook, uh, sensei's divining top oh sensei's divining top perfect for this deck because if you think about it you're taking all the cards that are in your hand putting them on the bottom and then drawing that many cards well why don't we just always make it so that we have at least a card to play and it's a one mana card so as long as you have a mana you can shuffle your whole hand away you just play the sensei's divining top throw it on top of top of your library and just keep on keeping on uh, things so thought vessel obviously another mana rock but no maximum hand size if i love galadriel i was like what what who would ever put this in their deck but draw a card while you have no cards in your hand you technically start out drawing no cards so you draw two cards instead so you basically shuffle your hand away or put it on the bottom of your library and then draw that many cards plus one because of this gain life while you have five or less life you gain twice so much life instead not the best but if you, it pairs really well with Aetherflux Reservoir if you happen to have, let's say, 52 life, but you've also just been drawn, like, you've been playing so many different spells, so you're up to, like, six, let's say, like, seven cards that you've played in this turn, then all of a sudden, you nuke them, you're down to 52, and suddenly, you play another spell, then instead of gaining eight life, you gain 16 life instead. We're back in business, boys. We're back up to 18 from literally casting one spell. Beautiful. Mind Splice appar Apparatus. Four mana. Beginning your upkeep, put an oil counter on it. Instant Sorcery is you cast one less cast for each oil counter on it. Oh, oh, excuse me. That's really good because turn four, you get that out. Okay. Turn five, your stuff costs one less. Turn six, your stuff costs two less. Now you have Argin uh, out. All of a sudden, your, I don't know, Into the Fires costs one mana. Insane. But we need to be talking about the instant sorceries in this. How, how could I have forgot? The main point of this deck means stuff like Winds of Change, Windfall, Wheel of Fortune. Just shuffle all your cards away. Treasure Cruise, because one mana draw three cards isn't broken at all. Obviously, you've seen it in every Storm deck you possibly could. Sarah Visions, Preordain, Ponder, just basic little spells that manipulate the top of your deck for all you cards it's good in the early game good in the late game it's good in general past the flames obviously we talked about molten psyche is also another shuffle shuffle cards away draw that many cards but also it's metal craft if you happen to have a lot of artifacts test if you control three or more artifacts deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of cards the players draw this turn so just a little extra little mm punch in the face as you're sitting there just drawing so many cards mrs mastery perfect for whenever you're popping off in those turns if you're able to get that overload off oh suddenly you're casting all the spells you get so many argent triggers and your opponent's basically just dead if this is late game and you play mrs mastery the game's over i don't make the rules i just follow it. jessica's will also just allowing you to play even more cards get the early game going just able to get from late late game earlier mid game the uh, beginning game great card absolutely great card taxing probe is able to real quick just get a trigger off of Arjun. absolutely awesome faithless looting is also just one of those little mini cantrips that everybody knows and love but i don't run a lot of a lot of counter spells and stuff because i just personally don't like them if you want to add more of them like you can the deck 
if, if you see it at the top of your screen, you can get that uh, that if you want, or if you want to comment down below, the uh, like, hey, I want this deck, then I can give you a link to it. But I did put Arcane Denial in there just because it draws you a card. And drawing cards is neat. Obviously, it draws them two cards, but psh, ah, we don't care about what they're doing. Brainstorm, Consider, obviously, and stuff like Opt. Obviously, the little small little cantrips that we're just going to be playing just to get more Arjun triggers. Valakut Awakening and Hilarion Winds just shift the cards and get even more. Reality Shift just as a removal spell because... We need a life a piece of removal, want to know. And Mana Drain just allows you to, I don't know, get out an Omniscience a lot sooner if somebody does decide to counter it off. Or Mystic's Mastery. Hey, we can overload it a lot sooner now. Vote Calamity. Oh, it's like Mystic's Mastery, but less, but good. I mean, you can invoke Calamity at that Windfall and Wheel of Fortune, for example. Now you get two more shuffles. But then you get two more off of Arjun. Oh, beautiful. Frantic Search, free spell. Absolutely free. Your Guardianship, just in case, if you're on your pop-off turn, you can just quick go, ah, 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 ah. You're not going to be countering my spells today. I'm looking at you, target opponent. A dramatic Reversal and Isochron Scepter is literally just a game-winning combo in this. I mean, it literally just, you just keep copping it over and over and over again you get infinite mana and you can just do whatever you want it's basically just like an omniscience but less but more at the same time consider it's just another uh, cantrip but i think i just got through all the cards in this so if we're looking at a 2.72 average mana value the 10 obviously being not omniscience this is the color distribution as you can tell it's a lot more focused on blue not a lot more on red but we still love them both the same but if you guys like the deck please Make sure to let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next deck deck.